it wakes from sleep. I tried it out with the PlayStation. I tried it out with the Xbox controller, but yeah, everything seems to wake it no problem. This is my first affiliate product. I'm excited to check this thing out. I do have a discount code and a link, but yeah, here's the unboxing experience. So far, I've been using this little dongle thing here and it does most of what I need, but it's a little inconvenient and it kind of sits kind of funny. Why you would want to dock is because you can then use an external hard drive and an extra screen, keyboard and mouse, controller, all that fun stuff. Apparently, from what I understand, this doesn't apply anymore because this was fixed with an ROG Ally update. I've got some instructions. I probably won't be needing these. A little care guide, accordion style. 18 plus 36 months warranty. That's nice. I got little thumb caps. I don't think they're the capacitive type. I'm pretty sure that these little thumb caps that come with here are like your traditional switch cap style. I think it's a nice little addition, but at the same time, I would have rather have not gotten these and had a couple of extra bucks. The company did not ask me to say anything specific. In fact, fact, they gave me no instructions whatsoever. And I'm, I appreciate that. I told them that I'm going to tell them that I got this for free. I told them that I'm going to say whatever I want. And they were like, yeah, go for it. Here you go. The basic price for this product is $49.99. And I do get a commission if you use my link. So please use my link. Dock itself looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the back here. We have power in, goes up to 100 watts, three USB 3.0 slots, it looks like, and an HDMI. I believe it does 4K 60, um, and I think this is a gigabit ethernet. I like that there's no ports on the side. I like that it's got a rubber pad on the bottom and on the back and on the lip. It's rubber padded all over the place. Seems pretty sturdy. I'm quite happy with that. The cable is nice and long and braided, but not too long. Yeah, no, this looks like a pretty nice little product, I gotta say. Let's see how it fits. With a case, it seems to fit pretty Good. Hello, side note. I have recorded and re-recorded this video. I've made a list. I'm going to refer to my list. My ADHD is not being kind. It's okay. Use your tools. All right, so who is this doc for? This doc is for anyone who wants to use their device as a home console on a TV. Anyone who has external storage drives and too many games and anyone who wants a full PC experience on a budget. I will do a Windows install on this in the future. I've got a two terabyte drive coming in, got it on sale, it's an A-Data one. We'll do some Windows and see how that works with all this. I've heard it's not really worth it. I'll post some links in the description below about why or why not you would want to and how to do Windows on the Steam Deck. Unfortunately, while editing, I noticed that my new microphone is causing some feedback issues. I think it's the cable. That's not the dock's fault, that is my microphone's fault. Oh well, let's do some game streaming. Got Chiaki up. We're running wireless controller. Oh yeah, I was doing this the other day. Hey, we're still here. Seems to be hitching more in docked mode than it was in handheld mode, which is weird. Yeah, like that. That being said, on to the next thing. I know how much you guys love The Witcher 3. I set it up here to do 1920 by 1080 at 120. It won't hit 120 in The Witcher 3. You can set it to 1440, 120 for some games or 4K 60. I don't think the dock will output more than that. I did try to do it in my 4K 165 Hertz monitor up there, but uh, it's still limited it to 4K 60. To be able to see this, you have to toggle this off. Toggle automatically set resolution to off. It will change. We're gonna have a grand old time. My deck settings are frame rate limit 120. HDR on, half ray shading is off, I listened. Fill, FSR one. In game, the settings are all Steam Deck settings and the resolution is set to 720p. That FSR is doing a little bit of work. I didn't make the jump. I have played about six hours of this game. Uh, it's not really necessarily my thing. I made it to the brothel. I should stop running around with the sword in hand. Running with scissors is dangerous. Put this one away too. I think this looks pretty darn good for the fact that it's running on a Steam Deck on Steam Deck settings, upscaling and everything. Oh, just barrel over that child. Are they okay? I think the kid's fine. Just run everywhere. That's how you get places real quick. I swear there was a road. Am I just tripping? Hey, look a road. I would say that this is playable and I think it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I would be exhausted right now. Just like trying to look a horse. Is that my horse? This is my horse. My horse is amazing. That's not my song. Gallop. Press twice. Oh, it didn't let me just go. This guy's named Dirty Oaf. What are you looking at? Here, let me off. Let me off. Loot. I'll take whatever this is. is that sword for me too? Is their name not Dirty Oaf? Is that my horse's name? I, I swear I read Dirty Oaf. I don't know. Yeet. Oh, shit. 
That was The Witcher 3. <laughs> it does not seem to do VRR. I tried plugging it in directly to a TV. I tried plugging it directly into a Samsung Neo G7. It doesn't seem to want to do it, but that's fine. It never says anywhere that it can. It will, however, do 1440p at 120, which you can see here. Let me add him. This is going to be over so fast. Let's just go ham here. I love me some Moonerang. I always, always have, always will. Do the things, do the things. Walk, ching, walk, wang, wang doodle, wonkers. Toasted in 1440p 120. As far as the power, it will charge external devices at 1.8 volts, 5 amps when it's plugged in. But when it's not plugged in, it will charge everything that's plugged in here at 1.5 volts, 5 amps. Also of note, everything works without power. You don't have to have the power in to have the ethernet, the HDMI, any of this stuff work. I need two hands for this. No chargey charge, as you see up there. We're running on battery. You don't need power for stuff to work. Everything will still work fine, um, even without power. You're just gonna have a lot less time with it, especially if you're running an SSD uh, and a bunch of other stuff in the background as well. But you can do it. You shouldn't. Now, let's say you're having a work party and you, your manager, the accountant, and the crafty guy all wanna get in and play a game together. You can. Everything seems to just work. Let's ready up. But yeah, you get the whole team together and do some stuff. It's a good time. Let's go. Push ya. So there's you, Xbox guy. Mr. PlayStation comes along. Comes along. Mr. PlayStation comes along and ruins your day. Nintendo man. It's just like, oh, hey, we have to put our buttons different just because. And then the guy with the strange controller just comes up and uh, wants, to, wants to join in too. He just knocked his face. You know, you can do that. What do you know? But yeah, everything works. All controllers seem to just connect. Bluetooth is fine. Let's get into some desktop mode. There are a handful of tips and tricks that I feel like should be explained, and I made sure to note them down on my notes. Right-click the desktop, configure display settings. Here are your scaling options. Currently, I have it set up to only go to the monitor so that there is no burn-in on the bottom screen. But you can have dual monitor setup. Let's do this one. Hey, look at that, dual monitor setup. So for some reason, sometimes it'll do this. If you have this sticking out, just stick this other screen wherever your other screen is in space in reality and click apply. Yes, key. And then ta-da, you have a dual monitor PC setup. Let's say you have some audio issues and for whatever reason, your sound is not routing properly. How you fix that, so you go down to the audio thing down here, right click it, or I think it's left trigger if you're in handheld mode, configure audio sources. If this one specifically, the Rembrandt HDMI display port, whatever is not checked, which you can test here. Front, right. If that's not checked, you're not gonna get audio. Disabling that in handheld mode, if you have certain issues, will fix certain issues that you have in handheld mode. Because of the fact that OLED, and I'm not gonna be using this for anything else, I'm just gonna be using just this one monitor. System, crystal disc mark. We have a drive in this little dealio here. I think it's just a regular um, 540 speed. Give it a quick test. Got a couple of other drives here too. Yeah, it's a little bit slower than that. But if you have your old drive from replacing the hard drive, you can use these. I'm also going Going to briefly do a test of a faster drive. That speed is plus or minus what this drive should be getting regardless. So take that with a grain of salt. We're going to close this. We're going to quickly swap out this drive, which is just an old WD Blue. It's a SATA drive. We're swapping it out for an NVMe drive. This is actually faster than what the rated speed of this is supposed to be. So I'm very confused by that, but I have been consistently getting these kinds of speeds. I wanna see if we can still get that same speed just plugged in straight into the system, or if it's just mispresenting somehow. And in the meantime, Samsung DeX. It does not like being played through my HDMI matrix into the capture card. Couple of hitches, couple of issues. Okay, so yeah, we're getting still USB 3.2 speeds. Cool, we're going to swap over. Samsung DeX, for gaming, I don't know about that. This is plugged directly into a TV and I'm still getting some weird hitches and glitches. Yeah, I don't know if you see that. Uh, this is the same cable that I was using with the Steam Deck in docked mode. It's so flickery and weird. Uh, well, there we go. I didn't even touch anything yet. Look at so many me's. Are we just, 
out we just done. Maybe still on, no signal. It just disconnected. I wanna try removing this drive because I wonder if having the drive plugged in is causing some sort of a conflict of sorts. So we're gonna try reconnecting it one last time, disconnecting and then reconnecting. I'm a big fan of Android, but Samsung DeX is just a huge miss for me. I am not only at night, but I fell through the ground. That just keeps happening. Not what I would call a good experience. So yeah, Samsung DeX, I don't know about that. Um, just for the sake of being thorough here, the built-in drive is this one up here. I did have an issue with it, cutting the speeds down, unplugging and replugging it fixed the issue. So yeah, it only happened one time. <laughs> Very weird. So check this out. Where is my camera memora? Everything that I have, ooh, is just plug and play. This this is a really, really cheap old like $15 microphone. I'm so sorry for the spinning. Ooh, here's a room tour. Ooh, I'm sorry. But yeah, you just plug stuff in. Oh, actually check this out. I can show you the back of the dock this way. Ignore the lights and the green screen. Breaking the fourth wall a bit here. Wallaby. Anyway, we're gonna do a speed test. This is the last test result that I got. Let's try it again. I'm getting better speeds now. I guess it's because it's past midnight. As far as I can tell, all the everything is doing as it's supposed to, and it's doing it well. This dock goes for $49.99 normally on Amazon. And if you use my link, I get a kickback to be able to continue to make videos like this. It does help. And if you use my discount code, SADTIRIC, 05, you'll get an extra 5% off. Please use my link. It will help me. This is also compatible with ROG Ally, Steam Deck, tablets, and phones with full functioned USB-C port. Um, also the Lenovo Legion Go. Oh, but yes. So mouse and keyboard in gaming mode. It do work. What do we search for? How about Balder? Yeah, there we go. And this is cheaper than the official dock. What more can I say? Please use my link and don't forget to subscribe. Seriously, um, don't forget to subscribe. It's very important. It helps a lot. <laughs> I could use every little bit of help that I can get. It'll even charge the, well, that's fun. It's green so you can see through it. Gotta love chroma key. Well, you can see through the Steam Deck. Ooh. And that, my friends, is ADHD. <laughs> love you. Resolution, native. Make sure it says native. You can't see it, that says native. Blasted. We're getting 60. Oop, I missed. I feel like we can do better than 60. How did you get behind me? Try to light me on fire. I'll explode your whole family. I won't do that. That's not cool. That's a war crime. Don't do that. Honestly, every single bullet here seems to be a war crime. I'm a big old boy. Oof, that was visceral. I'm feeling kind of bad about this, to be honest. Like, these guys didn't expect to turn a corner and see me, did they? Anyway, I want to do a test where I replace this cable or I extend this cable with a 10-foot USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable and see what happens. I have an adaptive res to 60. Let's try, let's try 120. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I mean, it's jumping up to 70, 80. Ooh. It got me. The frame rate's good though. For the most part, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I've got a couple more experiments I wanna try out, but I need to wait for stuff to show up. I need to get stuff. I need to find money to get stuff. Speaking of money, again, one last time, if you use my affiliate link below, it will be very helpful. I get a small kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra.